Welcome to MacBreak Studio, the 360 edition. I'm Steve. Last week, I talked to you about the differences between 360 video, VR, and AR, and how they relate to different headsets. This week, I want to talk to you about resolution. If you watch 360 videos on YouTube, you may have noticed that the quality is not that great, even with videos that are shot with 4K 360 cameras. So why is that? Well, let's look at the iPhone. This phone shoots 4K, roughly 4,000 pixels across. Now, I know some of you are thinking, no, it's really 3840, but I'm only rounding to keep the discussion simple. So we have 4,000 pixels across. When that video is played on YouTube, you're seeing edge to edge all the pixels. When you take 4K video for 360, you're wrapping it around a sphere, and you're only seeing a portion of that video at any given time through your headset. Let's take a look at this chart. Here is a 4K equirectangular projection of a sphere. Those different colors represent the different portions of the sphere. The yellow is the front of the sphere, the pink is the rear of the sphere, the red and the green are the sides of the sphere, and the blue are the top and the bottom of the sphere. When you take a headset, this has a fixed field of view. Field of view is the portion of the image you can see without turning your head or moving your eyes. Now, when you take this 4K equirectangular image and look at it through a headset, which has a, roughly a 90 degree field of view, it only yields a resolution of roughly 720p. Let's take a look at another chart. Here's an equirectangular projection of an 8K image. So we have 8,000 pixels across. Viewed through the same headset at 90 degrees, it yields a resolution of roughly 1080p. So where am I going with this? Well, you can see that the higher the resolution, the better image you're going to see in the headset and on the page, on the YouTube, through your browser. So you may think, wow, 4K, 8K, that's a lot of pixels. Really, it's just the bare minimum. We're talking the holy grail, we really want to see 12K or 16K equirectangular projections so that when viewed at 90 degrees, we're looking at 2.5K up to 4K in the headsets which by the way, very few headsets that I'm aware of can even do that. So we're very early in the evolution of all this. So when you're considering purchasing or renting a camera, the very minimum resolution you should consider is 4K. Thanks for watching.